script notifying 147,000 people about a data breach tied to cyber attack. They're still, you know, they're still in an investigation, so uh, they can't release too much information. It's not like it's all their fault, um, but they are notifying people as soon as they can, and and then uh, taking the steps to where those affected users can do something about it. What is the thing they? Can I don't know the steps, but they're doing credit monitoring. They said less than 2.5% of their user base was actually affected. So for those that were affected, they'll have credit, free credit monitoring. For the 97.5 that weren't ah. affected, there's nothing. And they know definitively that hackers didn't see any of those 97.5. Like bulletproof servers for those 97.5, but like other servers for the 2.5. They didn't say that in here, but I'm going to guess that they implied it. Mm -hmm. If you've had all of your medical information stolen from a company called Scripps, uh, guess what? You need ID theft protection for life. And that's what businesses really should be. Doing. I mean, if I were a hacker, I would start waiting for that. If I stole somebody's identity on March 31st, 2021, by April Fool's Day, 2022, is when I would actually launch my attack because that's when their free credit monitoring would wear off. Well, we've seen hackers steal so much information that it can take them more than a year to just sell your data. Like, there's so much data. I'm assuming this is medical data. There's so much medical data for sale in, in black markets that like they'll get to you eventually, but they're in no rush to sell your medical information. Well, you know what, Stephen, you really should have thought of that before you had a birthday. Right. And, and it's not like you can, first off, ID theft protection does not protect your medical records. There's no protection currently for your medical records. And if someone changes your medical records, uh, you have no way of knowing. The only way is to periodically get paper copies and compare. And you can also die. There's always that option, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, like, changing your medical records could, could change your blood type and could end mm -hmm. up making you die. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the consequence of medical identity theft is death. Yeah. I, yeah I, this... I have a medical allergy to certain kinds of anesthesia. If you pretend to be me, and you change that record and say you no longer have that allergy and forge it and then have surgery yourself and i need emergency surgery uh, you know i might die right yeah the this article i believe says that uh it was uh social security numbers and driver's license and or driver's license numbers uh you guys y'all are right though this is like social security number and driver's license numbers that's not the biggest gain from this this uh this theft at all uh, scripts i believe i believe that bread and butter is actually in prescriptions so um anything else about you is probably released uh, any kind of std medication you have to take uh, is is out there so I'm, I'm still blown away about the what you guys mentioned the, the medical records i mean yeah that could that is potentially lethal i mean not that any other hacking, it's a walk in the park, by no means at all, but that's probably the worst that could happen, I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, we I, And we still have no solution for it. Like, literally none. There, there is no medical identity protection in existence. Well, that's a gap we should aim to cover at some point. How can you? With, with HIPAA? You, you can't share any information with anyone. Oh, the, the regulations are built to prevent the information from being shared, but not stolen. Which luckily the hackers respect. And so they once they have stolen it, they only keep it to themselves and they definitely don't transfer it to anybody else. So that's really nice of them. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if there's a law abiding person, that would be a hacker. Yeah, maybe we should add to HIPAA. This means you hackers, you cannot share this information with other hackers. Yep. Well, that, that works on websites. You just say it's illegal to hack this site and the hackers are like, damn. Right. Okay. <laughs> Gotta find someone else.